TTIP stands for Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership. And like most trade and investment partnerships, it's super sexy. It's a proposed deal between the EU and the US to make trade easier. Well, easier for big business, as only the top 20% of UK companies trade outside the UK. But it's not just about reducing tariffs. They're already minimal, except for a few things like posh chocolate and mackerel. It's really about regulations. For example, oysters. To make sure they're safe, the US checks the oyster's water for bacteria. The EU tests the oyster itself. Both methods are safe, but because of red tape, the US and the EU can't buy and sell each other's oysters. TTIP will change all this. And not just for oysters. Standards will be harmonized for pharmaceuticals, energy, clothing, and textiles. The booster trade might mean 100 billion pounds across Europe, 10 billion pounds in the UK alone, the average UK household could benefit by up to £400 a year. So, what's the catch? Well, here are five. One, those figures are almost certainly not entirely credible. Two, it's not clear how some standards will be harmonised. The EU bans cosmetics tested on animals. The US does not. Does this mean standards will drop? EU officials have promised to remove protectionism but keep protection. The question is, can we trust them? Three, what happens if we want some protectionism after all? Italy wants to protect Parma ham. The French want to protect their audiovisual services. The UK wants to protect pork pies. Although, to tell the truth, nobody in the US wants them anyway. Four, will TTIP lead to privatization? Will US corporations become the providers of public services in education, transport, water, or even the NHS? The UK government promises the NHS is safe. Can we trust them? Five, ISDS, which is AFA, another f***ing acronym, Investor State Dispute Settlement. In other words, corporations will be able to sue governments for lost profits. For example, Australia's investment treaty with Hong Kong enabled tobacco giant Philip Morris to sue the Australian government after they brought in plain packaging. There are alternatives to ISDS, like state-to-state -state dispute settlements, or perhaps a permanent ISDS tribunal. I told you it was super sexy. The truth is, trade agreements are extremely complex and not suited to simplistic headlines. But if you really want one, French film is safe. Everything else is fucked. You may never have heard of TTIP because it's been kept under the radar. But now is the moment that we have to get informed about what it means and how we can take action.